Now again, I am telling if two plane mirrors are fixed in the two adjacent walls of a room. Now suppose this is one plane mirror and this is another plane mirror uh, and uh, the angle between them is 90 degree and another plane mirror is placed is pasted on the roof of this room. Suppose two plane mirrors are placed in two walls and in the roof there is another plane mirror. So how many number of images will be formed? Now we know that if two plane mirrors are inclined at an angle theta, the number of images will be 360 by theta minus 1. So it's because it is 90 degree. So total number of images formed will be 360 by 90 minus 1 that is 3. But as the mirror is pasted on the roof, so another three images will be seen. So three plus three, and another images will another image will be formed due to his uh, uh, own body. That is, if uh, I am placed in between two plane mirrors, then I will see three images in these two mirrors. Three images on the uh, roof, uh, the mirror, uh, another three images in the mirror which is pasted in the roof and another one image of myself is seen in the roof. So total images will be 3 plus 3 plus 1, total 7. Now we will see that if we keep the plane mirror in the plane mirror, then we will see the angle of the angle. एवं फॉर्मूला अनुसार हमें कहूँ जे जब हमर कहते टाइम इमेज फॉर्मेशन होगा ना 360 बाय थीटा माइनस वन 360 बाय 90 माइनस वन समान थ्री तेरे तीन ही टाइम इमेज होगा तेरे जो तीन तेरे मुझ जो देखी भी तेरे से दी टा प्लेन मिरर भीतरे मतलब दिसी बो तीन टाइम इमेज एवं सही तीन ही टाइम इमेज रो रिफ्लेक्टेड एवं निजरो प्रतिबिंब बड़ा पुनी दिशला एक तेरु टुट्टल नंबर ऑफ इमेजेस फॉर्म टू विल बी सेवेन सपोज टू प्लेन मिरर्स आर पैरेलल टू इच अदर तो दिस इज वन मिरर दिस इज वन मिरर लाइक Uh, in the saloon, in the saloon, you are seated in the middle and in front of you there is a mirror and back side of you there is a mirror. So how many number of images will be seen? I is equal to 360 by theta minus 1. So angle is 0 degree. Then 360 by 0 degree minus 1. Something by zero infinity minus one is equal to infinity. So total number of images formed will be infinity. Again, say in the fifth or sixth case, I have not remember. Then if the what is angle of deviation? Angle of deviation it is defined at the angle it is defined at the angle between Projected incident ray and emergent ray. It is defined at the angle between projected incident ray and emergent ray. That means, suppose this is your mirror. 
दिस इज योर इन्सीडेट रे ए बी इज योर इन्सीडेट रे एंड बी सी इज योर रिफ्लेक्टेड रे दिज दिस रिफ्लेक्टेड रे इज ऑल्सो नोन एज ए मार्जेंट रे ना व्हाट इज एंगल ऑफ डेविएसन दि एंगल बिटवीन प्रोजेक्टेड इन्सीडेट रे एंड एमर्जेंट रे सो दिस एंगल तेने इन्सीडेट रे को बढ़ाओ वर्धित तो इन्सीडेट रेटा एमर्जेंट रे सहित तो जो कोण करे ताको ही कह जाए एंगल ऑफ डेविएशन ना सपोज दिस इज नॉर्मल ना इन्सीडेट रे सहित तो नॉर्मल जो कोण करे से एंगल ऑफ इन्सीडेंस नॉर्मल सहित तो रिफ्लेक्टेड रे जो कोण करे से कहते एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन एवं आम जानी एंगल ऑफ इन्सीडेंस इज इक्वल टू एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन बर्तमान ए टी दिस एंगल दिस एंगल इज वन ए टी ना एंगल ऑफ डेविएशन दिस एंगल दैट इज सी बी एंगल ऑफ डेविएशन इज इक्वल टू सी बी टी सी बी टी सो सी बी टी सो दिस एंगल इज इक्वल टू टोटल एंगल दैट इज वन एटी माइनस ए बी सी टोटल दिस एंगल माइनस दिस एंगल इज इक्वल टू सी बी टी दैट इज एंगल ऑफ डेविएशन इज इक्वल टू वन एटी माइनस ए बी सी ए बी एन प्लस एन बी सी ए बी एन प्लस एन बी सी इज इक्वल टू वन एटी माइनस आई प्लस आर वी नो दैट आई इज इक्वल टू आर सो दिस इज इक्वल टू वन एट्टी माइनस टू आई जेहेतु आई इज इक्वल टू आर जेहेतु आई इज इक्वल टू आर सो दि एंगल ऑफ डेविएसन इज वन एट्टी माइनस टू आई सो वी कैन रईट दि एंगल ऑफ डेविएसन produced by a plane mirror the angle of deviation produced by a plane mirror is d is equal to 180 minus 2i or this can be written as 180 minus 2r so here to i is equal to r we know that i is equal to r so you can write d is equal to 1 minus 2i or 180 minus 2i <coughs> da The minimum size of a plane mirror to see the full image the minimum size of a plane mirror to see the full image of an object is half of the size 
साइज ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट दैट मींस इफ द साइज ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इज सिक्स फुट देन द मिरर शुड बी थ्री फुट देन द मिरर शुड बी थ्री फुट इफ द मिनिमम साइज ऑफ द प्लेन मिरर द साइज ऑफ द प्लेन मिरर टू सी द फुल इमेज ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट सपोज दिस इज द ऑब्जेक्ट एंड यू वांट टू सी द फुल साइज ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इनसाइड द मिरर देन द लेंथ ऑफ द मिरर शुड बी हाफ ऑफ इट दैट इज इफ द साइज ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इज सिक्स फुट देन द मिरर शुड बी प्लेस्ड थ्री फुट so that the full size of the object can be seen the next if the object wants to see if the object wants to see the back side of the wall when is placed inside a room is placed inside a room then the size of the mirror should be one third of it that means suppose this is a room and height of the room is 10 feet and this is the object and the ob- this the main say and the main want to see the wall so this is your wall the height of the wall is 10 feet the the mirror should be placed should be 1/3 of it so this is a 9 feet then 3 feet you see So this is the room. Then the height of the room is nine feet, and a man placed in the middle of it, and he wants to see the wall behind him. Then the mirror placed in the other side of the wall should be. One third of it, that is three feet. The next one. If two plane mirrors. are perpendicular to each other and suppose this is the incident ray 
this is normal this is reflected ray reflected ray this is normal then this is another reflected ray this is incident ray this is reflected ray this is normal this is another ray. so this is angle of incidence i this is r now this is normal so total is your 90 this is r so this is your 90 minus r or you can say 90 minus i this is your 90 so this angle is i this is 90 minus i i is r so 90 minus r 90 minus i because i is equal to r this is 90 90 minus i so this is i now total 90 so this is 90 minus i this is 90 minus i now see so this indicates that this is a emergent ray emergent ray now here if two plane mirrors are perpendicular to each other if two plane mirrors are perpendicular to each other then the incident ray and emergent ray are anti parallel to each other if two plane mirrors are perpendicular to each other then the incident ray and emergent ray are anti parallel to each other now all these are uh, the things which we have to remember in case of plane mirror we have to remember all these things now we will discuss how the image is formed in case of concave mirror formation of image formation of image in case of concave mirror now case 1 case 1 when the object is placed at infinity when the object is placed at infinity now you have to consider all the rays coming from infinity is 
considered to be parallel all the rays coming from infinity is considered to be parallel also also all the parallel rays falling upon the concave mirror reflected passes through focus now see now you have to remember this all the rays coming from infinity is considered to be parallel also all the parallel rays falling upon the concave mirror passes through focus now i am telling when the object is placed at infinity check this one now see this is your concave mirror the mid point of the mirror is known as pole now taking this into the part of a sphere if this sphere is completed then this is your center of curvature the mid point of pole and center of curvature is known as focus now suppose we are considering a ray coming from infinity all the rays coming from infinity is considered to be parallel that means parallel to the principal axis and after reflection they will meet at focus this is your reflected ray so when the object is at infinity the image is formed red focus now consider the second case suppose this is your plane mirror this is your pole focus center of curvature now this is your parallel ray that means when the object is at infinity then the image is for at focus and 
द नेचर ऑफ द इमेज इज रियल इन्वर्टेड एंड डिमिनिस्ड देख जो अब्जेक्ट इनफिनिट रोच इमेजटा फोकस रोच जेहेतु रियल गार गुटा छेद करेणु है रियल एटा उल्टा जना पड़ी एटार जना पड़ूनी एटार कि उल्टा जना पड़ी सो इट इज इनवर्टेड एवं ऑब्जेक्ट साइज जिते ही थी एटा ताठार सान हो तेणु एटा है रियल इनवर्टेड एंड डिमिनिस्ड ये रेणु नेक्स्ट क्लास को आउ अलग पोजिशन रमती हो